It turns out that the slippers on the slipper lobster are actually antenna. What is going on everybody? My name is Brandon, I'm a marine biologist and an artist, and welcome to Nature Meets Paper, the place where we go on an adventure to discover the world of marine biology. I love sharing my passion of the oceans and its creatures with you through art. If you are new here, welcome! This place is for anyone who loves adventure, discoveries, or connecting with nature. If you are returning, it is great to see you again, thank you for coming back. Today we'll be discovering the slipper lobster. Are you ready? Let's dive in. The slipper lobsters, located in Hawaii, are found in the Indo-Pacific. They reach from the Red Sea to India, along the north coast of Australia to Japan and out to Hawaii. This pattern is familiar to us. I really should make an Indo-Pacific habitat map. There are 90 species of slipper lobster in the world. These animals can live up to 500 meters deep. But the ones that we are focusing on typically are found in warm coastal waters up to 45 meters or 150 feet. They are nocturnal creatures. They hide in caves and crevices of rocks and corals during the day and leave for the sediment at night. What are we looking for when looking for slipper lobsters? In Hawaii, flip-flops are known as slippers. But, I don't think we're looking for shoes. Slipper lobsters are not true lobsters. They are more closely related to the spiny lobster and the furry lobster. The slipper, lo the slipper lobster has a flattened carapace, or shell, with large flat mittens near its face. These mittens appear to be where the place where the claws should be located. But they are a pair of secondary antennae. The slipper lobster has tiny claws hiding under the mittens. They aren't really called mittens, but I don't know what else to call them. They have a hard exoskeleton covering their bodies. To grow, they go through a process called molting, where they leave their carapace and a new shell grows in its place. This animal doesn't have the ability to swim very well. They don't have the slapping tail like the main lobsters. Instead, they walk along the seafloor with their tiny legs. They need to be extra careful of predators during the molting season. They typically hide in the deepest shadows of the rocks until, they sh until their shell turns hard again. These, these are kind of weird creatures. I know I won't be able to sell this painting. <laughs> the slipper lobster is a drab and rock colored animal. This is to create great camouflage. Let's discover how the slipper lobster is doing. They eat small mollusks, snails, oysters, clams, anemones, and dead animals. They are prey to the gray triggerfish. Their primary form of defense is to bury themselves in the substrate, or hope that their shell is tough enough. The IUCN Red List has them listed as least concern. This is great news! There is a small fishery for them, but they aren't sought after as much as the other lobster species. I saw this lobster in a large tank in the Maui Ocean Center. It was a dark encounter. This allows you to see nocturnal animals during the day. I had no idea what this animal was. I had to read the sign above. Whatever it was, it was amazing. I had never seen anything like it before. I believe it was in a tank with a bunch of cowries. I will talk about them in the future. There were two that I saw hiding in the dark corner. It was tough getting a good picture of them for this painting. My camera does not have a large enough sensor to deal in low light levels. That is why this is a cartoon looking watercolor. The original photo was not very good. They didn't really move or anything. I could see them watching the world outside of their tank. Then I moved on to the next animal. I will call this adventure finished. Thank you so much for watching. It means so much that you'd go on an adventure to discover something new. If you think I deserve it, click that subscribe button and ding that bell. That way you will be notified every time I post a video. 
I typically post every Tuesday and Saturday. Saturday's videos being about the science and Tuesday's video being about the art. But currently I'm trying to figure out how to do run my Patreon so I might move Tuesday's videos over to Patreon. We'll see. They might be a little bit longer, longer videos. I'm not really sure. I'm still trying to feel it out. I have links to my Patreon page as well as my Teespring shop in the description below. Thanks again. I've been Brandon and I will see you in our next adventure.